Half a million Canadians are living with dementia. Within 15 years, that number will approach 1 million. It's one of the fastest growing diseases in the world. It does not discriminate. It can affect anyone. January is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Joining us this morning, Kathy Barrick from the Alzheimer's Society of Canada with another special guest. So I think uh, introductions are in order. Who's this right here, Kathy? So this right here is Pero. He's one of our two robotic seals that we use in our programs for people with dementia. And as you can see, he is a robot, so he responds to what you do. Okay, so uh, we'll get to him in a second. I want to talk about the stats, though. Um, why are the numbers rising so rapidly? Well, we have a tremendously aging population, right. so as our parents all get older, the boomers are, are really accounting for a lot of it, but also I think we're getting a lot better at diagnosing it. Okay, so uh, lots of uh, programs happening, including with this robot seal, so I've got, I've got one myself. So, so what does this do? So it's actually really interesting. So we use this in our programs with people with dementia and they absolutely light up. So even right. people that are not responsive who are fairly progressed in their disease, uh, when they see Pero, they really just light up. Um, a lot of it is he's responsive, so he hears your voice, so he will talk back to you and he moves. Um, and people just light up when they see him. Hello, Pero. Oh. Wow. Okay. So these things are very sweet. What is this about, though? What does this sort of enact in, in uh, somebody who is suffering from dementia? What does that do? And that kind of interaction? Well, I think it's a few things. One is they, because he responds to your voice, it, it engages their attention right. as well. Just the tactile, they um, just feeling him and petting him. In some ways, it's like petting a cat. I mean, they say it's a real distressor. Right. Um, and same thing with Pero. Because people tend to, as they become, you know, more and more removed from society, less and less interaction happens, right? Exactly, and it's harder to get at them, so tools right. like this really um, get their attention, and also music is a really big thing that we use. Okay, let's talk about the music yeah. program that the Alzheimer's Society is involved with. Yeah, so our music program is amazing. Uh, it basically is, we load up an iPod with someone's favorite music, so if you had dementia, God forbid, right. we would load your absolute favorite songs and we give it to you for free, and when we give it to people, Again, they just uh, come alive. You see a video here right. and it's uh, amazing. Okay, so music is one of these things that sort of transcends whatever part of the brain and, and yeah. everybody sort of connects with it. And also very quickly, the Blue Umbrella Program. Mm -hmm. What is this? So this is a dementia-friendly initiative, so it's really the Alzheimer's Society going out to community, uh, you know, the bank, things like that, so the people in the community are aware of it, so if you run into somebody with dementia, you would know how to respond and help them if they look like they're in distress. Okay, and how many sort of businesses are, are starting to connect with this program? Actually, there's a lot of interest, especially banks seem to be very interested because that's one of the places that could show up first with someone would be maybe confused about their banking, so... Uh, yeah, we're out and about in all communities trying to get the word out. All right, I don't know anybody who has not been affected in yeah. some way, shape, or form by dementia. So, Kathy, thank you very thank much. You. If one of your family members needs help dealing with dementia, go to alzheimers.ca for support and information and education, alz.to. We'll be right back. You're watching Breakfast Television on City. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye.